This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, it's been a hell of a year. Personally, I feel like I've aged 12 years over the past 12 months. And if you're like me, you're feeling your age more than you used to, especially in the bedroom. It's time to snap out of it. Spring is here, and it's time to get sprung with Blue Chew. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Kitchen Talk at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code Kitchen Talk to receive your first month free. And we thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring the podcast. Dead bitches, blue faces. Oh, yeah, bottles talking about the cases. I put the max in the middle, I'm pulling up in the spaces. Oh. Come on. Let's go, y'all. Yes, sir. Let's go, George. The very first time that I saw you around, I your lips said hello, then I said hi. Hey, I knew right there you were the one. But I was caught up. I was caught up. And physical attraction Woo! But to my satisfaction Maybe you more than just hey. a friend Let's go And if I ever oh. fall in love oh. again yeah. I will be sure Woo! that that lady is a friend Feeling good. That just felt good. You feel good. <laughs> you have the top of the notes. You feel awesome. It was going. You was going off. Yo, I, yo, you heard me. I was like in there, like that really <laughs> felt good. <laughs> Shout out to the whole staff, man. You know what it is. Big P, Pearls, Monroe, Squeeze, Fire, Gang, 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 Bye, 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 Bye. Nash, Coach Golf. Shout out to the whole gang, man. Oh man, that really yo. That song reminded me of my weekend. Man, listen, big shout out. Uh, your favorite tomboy, Harlem Rock. Your weekend, your weekend, your weekend. Go ahead. That song in the weekend. Go ahead. That song we just that's, did. That's that's. <laughs> Hold on. By the way, I got a, I got a special guest, but we gonna before I introduce him. Like, man, I had a crazy weekend. We and heard. It, 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 it remind me when you played the song. It was my my weekend. I had some shit, and I got it. My life is really not good. It's not. And, and, and let me tell you why. My life is not good. I had some company over. Mm-hmm. Okay? I had some company Ayo. over. Ayo. What company? Mm-hmm. No, you don't ail to that. No, no, ain't nothing wrong with no company. Go ahead, finish Ain't nothing wrong man. with a little company. Come on, go ahead. Come right, on. I'm a grown man. I'm single with a little, little company. Mm-hmm. I got a big picture of my father. <laughs> On my wall. Just the only picture in my room. Big picture of my father. My dad. You know what I mean? Everybody tell me I look like him. Been hearing that all my life. It's my dad. James Coleman. It's my father. Senior. No, I'm Jermaine. He's James. But I'm saying you're you're senior. Yeah. This is my senior. It's my dad. Yeah. You know, and the young lady said, who's that? (laughs) Is that somebody famous? (laughs) Who she thought he was? I said, famous. Mm. She said, is that, um, don't tell me, that's, that's Bob Marley. No. Oh my. Your father don't even have dreads. She said, no, that's either Bob Marley or Muhammad Ali. Mm. I said, what? <laughs> at this point, at this point, I knew that my life was going down the drain. <laughs> I knew it. At that point. At that point. At I knew my life. Not was, before that. Not before that. And not it, before but that. It, it gets worse. So I'm like, Bob Marley? <laughs> I'm dying. Like this Bob Marley, my father don't have long hair, none of that. May he rest in peace, my father. And what happened was, I said, no, that's not Bob Marley or Muhammad Ali. Like, what the, you don't know what these people, you don't know what these guys that like these are. They don't even look alike. Cultural. Icons, legends, right? And she said, well, 
That's not Tupac, right? Oh, whoa. <laughs> she just brought somebody from over here, over there. Like, First she of all, I'm just going to cover the spectrum. Like. The real question is why no, we kick her out after Hold that? on, hold on. My life is shit, all right? That's what I'm looking at. My life is that was not good. Disrespect. No, she really, she said it in she a way. She really didn't know. She really just she didn't know. She really should have got out. And... I was I was having too much fun at this point. I said, "Yeah, that is too pop." Yeah. <laughs> no, it ain't. I said, "It is." She said, "It is." I said, "She said, no, it's not." She knew it wasn't him, but kind of wasn't sure, right? He doesn't look like that. He he used to wear a bandana. I said, "He ain't always wear a bandana." Like, wow, this is crazy. This is my life is hell. I said, "Um," she said, "But I thought it could be somebody in your family." I'm like, "Okay, stay in that area right there. You're getting closer. You're getting closer. <laughs> somebody it could be somebody in my family and." The moral of the moral of the story is that you need to fuck with some different bitches. My life, right. my life is my life is hell. Yeah, my life is yeah, it's really bad. And you're okay with that? No, I just said my life is hell is not. But it took okay. somebody thinking that your father was Bob that Marley. That was funny. Though. For you. <laughs> that was funny as shit, though. I'm sure. I could not believe it. Wow, that Wait, was funny. You could have sold that as Martin Luther King. Facts. <laughs> no, that's actually. Hey, round of applause for my man Cardan for Harlem. What's up? What's up? Legendary Cardi. Cardan, if you didn't know, he was a part of that whole Harlem world movement back in the late 90s, early 2000s, man. Seen my man get shot out of cannons. What is wait, wait, that? Wait, wait. No, that's, my, that's my headphones. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, you gotta go back. I wasn't in that video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Hold, hold on, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Me Rubik's Cube. All right. Hold on. <laughs> um, See, my man get shot out of cannons in the uh, what video? What, what, what's the song? Okay, let's well, go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yes. All right. Before we get to you getting shot out of cannons, shout out to Mino. <laughs> <laughs> hold up. Shout out to Mace. What Wait. the? F hold on. The fuck? Yo, first of all. <laughs> no. Wait a minute. <laughs> how, you, how the hell? How you came through the? <laughs> this nigga just came out. The, you climbed over the back. I think it's fresh. You climbed <laughs> over the fence, <laughs> bro. <Man. laughs> yo, no. yo, I was just gonna say you gave him the keys. Like, yo, what's up? What's up? What's, what's up, my guy? What's going on? What's up? How are you? Come the door. Let's give a round of applause. Come the door, man. Hey. You what just you everybody get your truck. We in this bitch. This shit crazy. <laughs> oh like, shit! Just, mm? This nigga just popped up what out the cup? back. What a what a cup? You climbed over. You still had your cup. I was drinking on the on the way here. Yeah. <laughs> but you climbed over the fence. Yeah, like you, brother man. They fifth floor. But I, I came from downstairs. What floor? He what came floor? from downstairs. Oh shit! Floor, this yeah. is crazy, man. Might as well get get a mic, nigga. Yeah, get, him, get a get a mic, nigga. Right <laughs> oh. One two one two. Y'all can hear me. Yeah, we hear you, nigga. Like, we, you're not, we didn't welcome you here, though, nigga. I can't. You just joined the show? I can't, you I can't, I can't do it. Nigga, you ain't got to welcome me. I missed the intro. I missed the intro. I missed the intro. I missed the intro. I missed that one. I missed that one. That's my favorite part. That is thought without me. Yeah, man. We didn't know you was coming. I get it. Pause. Relax. We didn't know you was coming, bro. Okay. Pull that, pull that in front of you. Now? You can pull that whole thing in front of you right here. Right. Put, put, the, put the mic in front of you. Oh, that thing. All right, check oh, it out. Man. You can't introduce me as a nigga that got shot out of a cannon. What kind, what kind of a, a reverse counterproductive show are we doing here? You know what? Yes, I apologize. Yes, yes. I apologize. Yes. Come on, apologize. come on, give me, come on. Give me, Give me something that make, that'll make me feel bad. Yeah. Give him Dougie of the day. Give him Dougie of the day. Give him Dougie of the day. This is my brother. Yes, come on. I wasn't even in that video, first of all. We okay, we're going to tell that. a story. Yes, come on. Yeah. Huh? We're going to tell a story. <laughs> Yo. Cardi. Yes, sir. I know you a long time. Yes. He's a friend of mine. Good friend. You from, you from Harlem? Yes. I'm from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. You see me on Lennox Avenue, bro. Yeah, he pulled, pulled up live on, on Lennox. Okay, like, he pulled up live on Lennox, fake a lot. Diddy was out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. from Lennox? I'm I'm from St. Nick, but Lennox is one block away. Okay. So he did pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a lot of people out there. It was it was it was yeah. it was a lot going you, on. You grew up with uh, a lot of notable guys. Yes. Um, Mace. Yes. Cameron. Yes. 
Her McGruff, Big L. Her, oh, wow. Yeah, let's get it all out. One time for Big L. Yes. Wow. Her McGruff. Mm-hmm. The Harlem Legends. Yeah, I, I got a lot of respect for McGruff. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, how was that, man? Because... <laughs> That was that was great, man. It was a great experience for me. Um, growing up with them at a young age, it um, it was great schooling for me because I was, you know, I paid attention to the to the grooming of it all. So I learned a lot, to say the least. I learned a lot from those from those iconic Harlem legends. Well, were y'all like always rapping? Um, they're older than me, so Mace, Cam, they you know Children of the Corn, right? Children um, of the Corn, wow. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Digger. He's Loon, the shout out to Loon. Shout out to Loon. Um, so they're a little older than I am, but um, yeah, they, so they were started before me. By the time I was in junior high, when they was in high school. Right. So you, you know was the, you was the little homie of the crew. Yes, yes, yes. So met Mace. You know, everybody used to play basketball. Who you met first? Well, there's a group called BBO. And Mace was in that group. I told you about that. Yeah. Um, and Mace was in that group. Mm-hmm. So I used to see them. They would always come to the projects to play. Um, it was a tournament, very classic. So Mace would come over. Mace is from 133rd Street, two blocks from, from the St. Nick Project. So he would come over, play the tournament. Uh, BBO, they had mixtapes, uh, SNS, back when, back, old right. SNS, shout out to SNS. SNS when he was that down That was in. SNS group, right? He was, he, was, yes. he was promoting them hard yes, back then. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to so BBO, yeah. Mace was in that. Um, so I used to see Mace. Um, we, we grew a relationship. He took a liking to me, and then, you know, Mace got on. Put me up. I'm trying to speed the story up for you, but Mace got no, on. No, no, no. We, we, we got time, nigga. So, so was Mace? Because we talking about a lot of notable, notable guys. So we talking about Sugar J. You know, uh, Hud Six. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe no. rest in peace. No. Mino. Mino. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of, lot of, lot of in this. This is the '90s, right? Yes. This is this is this is pre Dipset. Cam is not on yet, but yes, you 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 met Mace first. I met Mace first. Yes. The yes. Out of Cam and right. Gruff and Big L, yes. And then you met Cam and him later on? Well, it was around the same time, because Cam used to play ball, too. You know, they went to Manhattan Center together, mm-hmm. and they, they played ball together. So, they was, you know, they came as a tandem. They was, they was by the time I met Mesa, right. I uh, essentially met Cam. met Cam, yeah. Did you did you play ball, too? I played ball. I got some trophies. I don't know where they at, but I got some. <laughs> I, they can just threw that good? out there real quick, though. Was of course. He just, it's trophies. Yeah. <laughs> I got some trophies. I got some trophies. I got some trophies. I got some trophies. Oh, man. I didn't even. I, I, I played ball, yeah. Just in case you was going to ask him, was he good, he lets you know by, I got some trophies. All we got to do is come back. We'll, we'll, we'll double back. we we'll go play. we we'll go us three, all of us could what, go, and then, we, and then we'll go, and Wait, then we'll read. Re- all of us. We, I mean, you could be a spectator, yeah. or you could uh, some team. I'm oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm what? nice. So, I'm with the shits. Anyway, yeah. I okay. can play ball. Go ahead. Yeah. I don't like that anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. no. He, 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 you heard him. I, nah, because I, 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 I ain't come, I, come I, for I, nobody. I do. Yo, I, 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 I didn't come it. for nobody. Yeah. No, no, I just said, yo, we can You included me. You said us three. I said, you included me. It was like one, two, three. Oh, I excluded you. excluded you. could be a cheerleader. No, that was after. I didn't like none of that. I didn't like cheerleader. Listen, I want to smoke. We could go play ball, then double back and make a make a blog about the basketball for the for the kitchen talk. Okay. No problem. Right. So. So yes, I was I was decent so you, at basketball. So you played ball, and at this point, all y'all playing ball and rapping. Was you rapping already when you met them? I was not rapping. No. Nah, no, I was not rapping. Mace was like my favorite out of the group. I was like, this guy's really good. He was Mace really murder. good. Mace murder. Mace murder. Mace murder. Mace. Yes, murder. Mace. So he was extremely good for, for at that time. He was like you know, Jay for me. Yeah. In Harlem, um, and you know he turned out to be that good, but. Um, so, you know, I, I used to see Mace coming up, the, I used to be like, because I, I was friends with BBO, right? So I used to hear the demos and the mixtapes or whatever that was available. So I used to learn those rhymes and I would come up to Mace two days later, like, just saying one of those rhymes. He'd be like, yo, how you know that? You mm. know what I mean? So that, you know, that was kind of a music to him. But how, did he say it like that though? He said, yo, how he you say, know yo, that? He said, yo, Cardi, <laughs> yo, yo, I got to How get, you know that? Hey, yo, nah, right? Nah, I got the best. I got the best Mason impersonation <laughs> ever. Let me hit. Let me hit a Mason person. He say, "Yo, Cardi, what? Like, this ain't even dropped." <laughs> he that said, "Cardi." He said, "Cardi, how you know this?" <laughs> I said, "No, I heard it from the, from the other guys." He like, "Yeah, you know what time? You know I'm the best." <laughs> so. 
so that's a, you know it makes it uh, like it to me. I, I I shortly did like a little demo because I was just you know I knew I had it in me. Right. And I always like music. Even I had Michael Jackson on my wall. Shit, who you name it, I had him on my wall. Right. Right. New, right. new edition. Uh, everybody. Uh, mm. was you know the '80s. You know I, come, I grew up. Right. You know, right. 80s, Listening so. to the music. Yes, yeah, so LL Cool J, everybody involved you know with saying? the music. Yes, that, that that was that was that shit was in that was I was wired with that. Mm. So I started, you know, I, I made a little demo. Mace heard it eventually, and um, it was like, ah, right, you know, it's, it's not the best, but it's potential. So I'm I'm a fuck with you. Shortly after, he got a record deal and brought me on board. He started wow. Harlem World. He got a deal with Bad Boy, um, and I was I was I was like his little C's. Right, right, you're right, you're right, yes. you're right, you're right. Nope. That's pivotal, though. Like, yes. So if it wasn't for that relationship, what would you have been doing? What were you doing at the time besides playing basketball? What was your life like? Mm, I was in high school, junior high school, so I was just studying. To, I was doing tests. I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't so really have a... Doing k No, nah, not yet. <laughs> I, I might have been a half of a lookout boy, but well, okay. I wasn't actually ah, serious. Nothing serious. Because <laughs> you, know, you remember the lookout, what, what happened? So that's what happened. That's why you didn't make the video because it was like a, a rumor that <laughs> you was fucking up in school and, no. they, and they, they threw you off the because you had an original verse on that on that on that song. I like it. Yes, we gonna get to that. Oh. We gonna get to that. We gonna we gonna, <laughs> yeah, we gonna get to that. <laughs> we gonna get to that. <laughs> that song was a hit song, right? What's that? That song, that particular song with the cannons. That was a hit. That oh, that's, a, I like yeah, that's, yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's that. Right, yeah, that's, the Harlem World. Yeah, that's that's a that's, that's a million that dollar. They shit. shot that video cost seven hundred thousand dollars to shoot. Yeah, he was doing a uh, fake uh, with Jerome, Rome, Rome from Martin. Mm. Um, that was a that, that was a production, man. <laughs> Niggas don't production. do productions nah, anymore. Nah, 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 yeah, no that's more. Buster Rhymes, yeah. Janet Jackson. One yeah. time, yeah. <laughs> those were the days. <laughs> that's those joints. So yeah, I mean, but to, to, uh, p- let me give you a piece of that puzzle to uh, to let you know why why I wasn't in a video. Me and Mace had a like a you know a disagreement, and um, I don't want you there. Yet. Okay, I don't want you there yet because we speaking to the people in TV land. Okay. You understand? You don't wave to the people in TV land. In TV land. Um, what's up? What's up? He feels some type of energy. Hmm? What's this face? What face? This aggressive feel, face that nobody is intimidated energy. by. I intimidated many men. Not me. <laughs> Hit him with the beat that shit. I ain't scared of you, me. No. <laughs> See, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm we have already no. established not to do that. <laughs> I didn't do it. I ain't do it. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Mace gets the record deal. Yes. You don't immediately get get a record deal yet because there's a lot of things going on in Harlem, right? Because even before Mace, you had a uh, Big L that went and got a record deal. Yes. Big L was a thing. You had um, Herb McGruff mm-hmm. caught his wave. Mace caught his. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was a lot, of, a lot of energy coming out of Harlem. Mm-hmm. Um, did, did you get your deal before Cam did or after that? I would say the same time because we did the clue tapes. Right? I remember, it's hold so, on. Yeah, right, okay, let's get it. This time. one line, right? Because I want people to understand this time. We, we talking about a time when if you was on a clue tape, you was famous. Period, right. Clue. Shout out to DJ Clue. He did that. That's when people used to Clue. drive downtown to get. Yeah, holla at me. That's when they used to record cool on the radio. Facts. Need you up on this show. We need to talk about things. So, if you was on a Clue tape, you was famous. And I remember. I remember you. Mm-hmm. I remember you and Cam was on. I, I, I want to say Hot, Hot 97. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was doing a freestyle, and I remember one of your lines was like. Me and Cam came to change things. We arranged things. Now we in the room. That was actually Cam's rhyme, but I, I, I was either before or after. You know what I liked about about that whole movement right then? Because everybody had started getting the tattoos. It's that Harlem world. Mm-hmm. It felt like it was some unity going on in Harlem. It mm-hmm. felt like y'all all was homies. Mm-hmm. And from the outside looking in, it felt like Y'all all was like it was inspiring. connected. It, it was, was inspiring. right, like right. These, all them Harlem niggas. They coming, like yeah. you know, because we had, you know, the Queensbridge and they, you know, Mob D, Nas, and everybody, right? And then y'all felt like the new Harlem niggas that was all connected, and it felt good. Mm-hmm. Unified. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
People yeah. love people love that unit. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we did the clue tapes. Mace took uh, me and Cam. This Mace was the guy he did. How are you on? To? Come oh on, Lord. that shit took the world by storm. So look, so check it out, right? So this is our boy we growing up with, right? He does Only You Remix. The, like, overnight, this guy's like, you know, this is Mace now. Mm. The guy with the dimple, they, they, he's a fucking sensation, mm. right? <laughs> Takes the world by storm. This is Mace. Like, Mace is everybody's favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Mm. Going back to Manhattan Heights, I'm going, ha- Ma- going back to Manhattan yeah. after the video. Yeah. Right after the going right back to the Oh, he still was going back to school. Yeah. Right after the video. Yeah. Really? Back mm-hmm. in he still was, he still was in school? Mm-hmm. Still in Manhattan Center. So this guy is like a fucking pop sensation in 98. <laughs> For real. I'm just being wow. real with you. He sold his first album sold three or four million records. Mm-hmm. This is you know, this is nineteen ninety eight, bro. Mm. Like this is larger like at least for me. I'm sixteen. This is my homeboy. I'm like, holy shit. Right. We can't, before I remember seeing up something with Pac. He was like, yo, before it was they can't stand me, and then now they can't stand next to me because they just going fucking crazy. Right. Before it's like, so I'm, the next, you know, shortly after, like they going crazy so it's on some Beatles shit and on a on a lower scale. You get what I'm saying? Right. So Mace becomes the crazy sensation, and things take off from there. So this is like your wildest dreams too. Just even to, yeah, this is this. I'm 16 years old. I'm in high school at this time. I'm like, yo. I remember growing up seeing, I used to jump off the couch, ah, no rapper can rap wow. quite like I can. I take a muscle man, yeah. man and put his face in the sand. Yeah. This, you know, this, this is the real thing. It was real. Um, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was dope, but. Home base. So I got the deal from that. So he took us to, uh, to the clue tapes. I, I got a record deal shortly. I did two clue tapes and whatever was attached to Mace, they wanted. And I just, you know, I was. So who did, who did Mace come and, and really get deals for he got me and cam his deal our, our deals right cam had at that time signed to uh Un- Un- undias entertainment Un- right which turned into undias no the big i think undias was first undias was first he right. took him to big big liked them yes they, they, and that was big the pass and then right and Un- was like yo i know okay. big was i know big liked you so i'm gonna honor that okay and i'm gonna sign you right and he took you to uh penalty. i was on penalty tommy boy Mm-hmm. So you was over there with Nori. I was with Nori. David Banner was in a group before even what? David Banner. He was, uh, Banner. Uh, what was that group? Oh, fuck, I forget what? the name of this group. Damn. They was I forget the name of the group, but they was a uh, um they was a uh, he was in a group signed to that label. Penalty, mm-hmm. which was distributed by Tommy Boy. Yes. Wow. This is this is history here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we 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 we'll get to the Nelly shit later, but they could right, they could yeah. have signed Nelly too. Okay. Cool. We 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 talk about that. Um. At what point did Mace come up with the idea to start this group, like a super group, and name it Harlem World? Well, Harlem World used to be a club a in Harlem, club. right? Right. So that's yeah. where he got the name from, right, like right, right. 70s, 80s cotton club. You know right. your history. Right. Yeah. You know your history. Yeah, it was, a cl- it was a club, right? Harlem yeah. World. Right. Yeah. So that's essentially where he got that from. Right. Um, I guess it stuck. It was dope. He just like, yo, this is my group, Harlem World. But you know, the firm was going on around that time. There was mm, a lot of clicking. A lot up. of clicks, yeah. You know what I mean, the dynasty. I mean, I think Jay. I think Jay did the dynasty thing a little bit later. But mm-hmm. you know, it was a it was a crew thing. That was it was, the a, it was crew vibes. Yeah. 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 yeah, Every everybody was creating crews because they knew people wanted to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. It's that inspiring. People like yeah. people like. This is my know? crew, <laughs> and you in it. <laughs> oh, so I'm forced. <laughs> You're in my crew. <laughs> <laughs> You're in my crew. You're in my crew. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought you <laughs> you was out here <laughs> riding if solo. Anybody's in my crew. It's you. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Definitely. Look at she talking about. Um, who was in Harlem World? Um, Harlem World was me, Loon, Baby Stace, uh, Ooh, Mason's baby sister. Stace. Ooh, baby Stacy. Twin sister, Blinky Blink. Blinky Blink, Blinky right. Blink. Blinky Blink, Mino. Mino. Um, Huddy Combs. Shout out to Huddy Six. Rest in peace to Huddy Six. Uh, great guy. Uh, Sugar J. And Sugar, Sugar Booger. Sugar J was... Sugar, Sugar Booger, made, he made the cut. Sugar, 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 he was rapping back then. <laughs> now, yeah, he was on the album. He, he was, was rapping, on the album. Sugar. Yeah, I know you out here yeah, respectfully <laughs> styling, <laughs> jumping off the jets and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Shout out to Sugar Booger. That's Remember my Remember you rapping, nigga. Yeah, I met yeah. Shug in high school, though. Uh-huh. And Shug essentially got down with Harlem World from, through me. Word. Yeah, because we, so we went to graphics together. And um, that was my homeboy. We met in high school. And Daddy's house was 
A uh, graphics was on Forty Knife and Knife Hell's Kitchen area. I remember right. graphics. And Daddy's my, house. My cousin went to graphics. And Daddy's house was on Forty Fourth. Right. So Mace used to come to my school, pick me up. Mm. He made it hot for me. Wow. Uh, yeah, and the lady. He was, was, that, he was that nigga. You was, 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 was getting yeah, like, had yeah, in the. Yeah. He was getting had in the locker room. <laughs> yeah. It's safe to say he was getting had in the locker room during gym. You supposed to be in gym, but you yeah. in the locker room. Getting nah, crazy, crazy he sloppy, case. right? <laughs> he made it hot. He was like, yo. He did. He said, yo, get. He didn't confirm or deny. party report card. <laughs> he was talking to the teachers. He was talking to the teachers. He came and got like, he, he, he was, you know, he, he, he actually pushed for me to do all in school. He was, right. he was serious about yeah. that, though, right? He was serious about school, serious yeah, about keeping he, your grades he, he up. He is and a everything. serious guy, yeah. He, uh, you know, he, he wanted well for me just school wise. You know what I mean? He didn't want me to be no dropout or. You know, just pursue rap mm-hmm. without having no backup plan. So definitely, I, I I can say yeah, he was um he pushed for that. You mm. was around that time, right? Was you around that time? Was he around? wasn't in a group. Was around he what? wasn't in a group. He was, he he's from. from, he's was, from, from he's was, was I alive? I was alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was alive. Comment on. He thought she thought she was in a group. Yeah. No, I don't mean was he in a group, but I know he was he's around. From, he's yeah. from yeah, over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah, I just, <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we zoom in. <laughs> you was you was you was outside then. That's what I'm saying. I was outside, was outside. I was outside but it was nothing positive about me at that time. I was outside right. though for the wrong you, reasons. Was, you was Commodore, outside, outside. Commodore's and I was an East Side nigga. Like, Commodore's yeah, extra cool yeah. because he's a Harlem nigga. We gotta let. Yeah. We gotta let. You yeah, know. you was in what mode? You was in your uh, fresh out mode. <sighs> He was running crazy. Niggas was, was in, niggas was getting tru- was on, niggas was, was in on, truancy, was, yeah, was, jumping turnstiles, bad, and getting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on, I was on dope, boy yeah. dope boy mode. Dope boy mode. You just had train passes yeah, and shit, man. Wild. You ever had a train pass? Suck my dick. Of course I did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just bad you know. young black males running through New York City. Says yeah. the young nope. black male running through New York City. No, nope, no guidance. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Listen, listen to these niggas on Clue. Yeah. On the corner, nigga. That's right. Selling slabs, nigga. Like, Selling like, slabs. These niggas got fire. Yo, that, that nigga card dance, little nigga. Yeah. Spitting crazy. Like, yo, and believe it or not, man, those Clue tapes still resonate to this day, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. Still to this people day. People still clue remember people, clue. yo, clue. bro. A lot of people don't know my face. They they remember those, the Clue tapes, though. Clue so a lot of people don't, if I'm out, they won't be like, oh, you the guy that was on the Clue tapes. But. If the people that do, they give it up like yo, they say the rhyme, you know, they right. they, they really enjoyed it, yeah. So that that shit still resonates. It's crazy. I would have never thought that. You got a Harlem World tattoo? Of course. You know what's crazy about the Harlem World tattoo? Only me, Mace, and Cam got this uh this this tattoo because when we went and got it, I don't know, yeah, what's Cam there? I'm not sure. But Mace told the guy that that did it, if me, Mace, if if uh, Mace say yo, if Cardi or Cam don't bring the person here. They can't get the tattoo. This was that champion, yeah. Mm. So it's people still are sweating, no, no cap. It's people that be like, yo, can you take me to go get the tattoo? Wow. Dead ass. I'm still waiting for him to take me to go get my hustle hard chains. You can't get it? You can't get it without him? I mean, I just... That you was a that, shot. You know that was on purpose. That was a shot. That was a of shot. Course. It was of definitely course. a shot. Of course. That's crazy, okay, right? we don't, we don't, 10 plus years, that's crazy. Okay, I'm, we gonna get... Remind me to get her the... The sterling silver with the... Oh, <laughs> with the Swarovski crystals. The rhinestones. <laughs> Woo! That with the spinning H's. Wow. Spinner. You good with that? Oh, that's cool. Damn, I did ten that? years. Like, ten plus. Don't, don't forget the plus. Ten, like, ten plus. Ten. Wait, twelve, thirteen, yeah, maybe. It's like I found you. Definitely. He found me. Yeah. I was in the gutter. <laughs> yeah. I made you. Why would I play you? <laughs> She's like, Why true story. Why would I play Not you? Why would I play you? All right, we, it's, 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 it's thick, it's thick, it's thick, it's thick. Mm-hmm. Attention, it's thick. Cut it, what, what, cut it. What's next? Not, what's we're next? Used to this. We're used what's to this. next, bro? <laughs> nah, I was talking about. <laughs> what's up? So we got Clue the deal. Tapes. You got yes, the deal. Got the deal. Yes, I had Neptune. This is Young Pharrell. I had Trackmasters. I had. This is for your project? Yes, I had. I forget what my budget was. Probably. Four hundred thousand to record an album. God, you know, the niggas do don't even get that no more. Four hundred thousand to record. This was, this was when videos were two hundred thousand. You know, like you, you know what right. I'm saying. So had Neptune's, had Stevie J back. back you know, Stevie Hitman J. Stevie J. Mm-hmm. I had um, not not Stevie, not Stevie, not Stevie, <laughs> not, no, not, not, not yeah. Stevie, not Stevie. But yes, Trackmasters, you name it, bro. They they all produced on that album. Penalty ultimately folded. 
and the album never came out. But it was ready, it was done, it was mixed, it was mastered, it was ready. But you had a single with uh, Jermaine, Jermaine Dupri. Dupri. Jam, Jam on. Jam on it. I remember that because I was... <laughs> I, I remember that video. It was coming on BT every day. I was... um. On, but, <sighs> you can still do that dance? <laughs> Yo. I was in um I was in Watertown. Shout out to Watertown. Shout out to uh Shout out to Watertown. Correction facility. Nash, that was shady. Um I was in Watertown at that time. This is around uh ninety-eight. I saw uh, I remember that video. In the MX, the locks, and I remember you had that video with but I, rem I, have, I remembered you prior to that. From the Clue. From the Clue tapes. Right. Wow. So was that the only single from the album? Yes, it was. Yeah. That was, the, that was a single. And just looking back, I feel like uh, coming from the Clue tapes, I don't think that was necessarily right, a single. But, you know, Kuda, was, Kuda Love was managing. So, you know, the, the industry is cookie cutter, right? So whatever is working, they want to mimic. They want to keep it's copying. Trend, trend. Right. So if, if, if a label is looking to get... Anything that is has anything to do with Mace, then they want that sound. But, and that was what the sound that Mace was given. Yeah. They wasn't paying attention to, to the ground and seeing what was happening mm -hmm. with the locks and DMX and even Cam and them. Like, they, it was changing. It was. It was changing. This was the year that it actually changed. Jay-Z took his... He, he came out of that colorful video and put that bandana on in 98. He like, came out of Sunshine. With exactly. So, right, so, <laughs> so it was a good record. It was a good, it was a great but, record. But we talk about marketing, marketing, right. about marketing. So, yeah. so, so, because they they was in the mace business, you was very marketable. You was young, and you was you had that sound, and this was kind of that sound. We was just coming out of that sound, so it was easy to see them still get caught up in that. Yeah, you understand? The timing. I think the it's timing. the timing. Yeah. Ten months later, it was been different. Yeah. It would have been a different. It would have been different. It would have been a different time because yeah. like whoa, we, because that time that this is not a season. It's not a season yeah. right now. Like it was, it's, it kind of was over. Um, that was the only single from that project, right? Yeah. And then there, there was a, a joint project called Harlem World. Yes. Mm -hmm. That that project was on. That didn't come through Bad Boy. That was on. That was on, on Columbia So So Death. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You was on that project with Loom. Loom, Baby Stace, Mino, Huddy Combs, Blinky Blink, Sugar J, and um, they had a bunch of features on there too. They had some good features. Right. That album also was produced by ne Neptune's on there. This is early. This, that's why I keep saying Neptune's. People know people. A lot of people don't even know Neptune's. They yeah. know Pharrell. Yeah. Right. 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 Pharrell is from a producing yeah, group. A group called yeah. the Neptune's. Right. right. Yep. With Chad. Shout out to Chad. Yeah. So right. we had we had all the heavy hitters on there. Yeah. Trackmaster. Shout out to all of them. But yeah, that album was produced. Uh, Just Blaze was on there. Kanye was on there. Just Kanye. Wow. Kanye. All right. So so let me yeah let me close this window right here. So Kanye on, my, on that album I recorded. Kanye produced this song I did, and I end up. Putting a guy named Nelly on there. This is before Nelly took off. This is before wow. Nelly was even whoa. Nelly. Whoa, I right? need you to go slow. Whoa, whoa, yes, whoa, whoa. Yes, 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 yes. I need you to go slow. Yeah. Slow down. And I need. Do can we dim the lights or can we turn up the lights? Can we do some? Can we do something different? <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. Is anything different could happen? <laughs> something. I need you to back it up and go slow. Right. So on your project. Yes. On penalty. Yes. Slash Tommy Boy. Yes. This you is on got YouTube. You could it's right. You can find it right now. Right. Um, so there's a track called "Get It Started," mm -hmm. and it features me. Well, it features Gangsta Boo. It's my song. It features a uh, Gangsta, Gangsta Boo. Boo. I know Gangsta Boo. Shout, Shout out to Gangsta, Gangsta Boo. Boo. <laughs> um. All right. So Gangsta Boo's on there. Nelly. Uh, Nelly's on there, and Kanye West produced it. Wow. Yes. 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 Nelly. His name was Nelly. His name was always Nelly. Where did you know Nelly from? Um. For my manager, me, Mason Cameron's manager at the time was Kuda. Right. Kuda, love. Kuda school me to the game. Now I know my duty. Stay yeah. home, stay low, blow like hoodie. Right. All right, he was the right. plug. Yeah, nah. Right. He was the plug. He was the one that was doing all He was, he was orchestrating. Yeah. yeah. You know what, Commodore? He I've, been hearing, I've been hearing that name Kuda for years, and I've never seen him. He like Kaiser Sosa. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. like, does this nigga even exist? Yeah. yeah. This nigga never seen a picture of him. Yeah. I don't know what he looked like. I don't know if he's a black man, white man, Spanish. I don't know nothing. Who is this nigga? Who is this nigga? I know my duty. God damn. I've been hearing that name. That name for real. Like, he's like a, That's real. a myth. So, 
We were at uh, Jermaine Dupri's birthday party. This has got to be what? It only came out in 2001. So we were at JD's party. I want to say 99. This is in Atlanta. It's at like a fucking museum. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, a guy named Trail he, that was from Harlem. Rest in peace of Trail because he passed away. Um, he had the St. Lunatics demo. And mm. Nelly was a part of that group. The mm. St. Lunatics, right? His first album was fire. No, oh, wait, this is before that. Classic. So, so stay, <laughs> I know I'm but you, here, stay with the story. Stay with the story. So, so they pass. The demo was for Mace. Mace was like, yo, I'm busy. Give it to Kuda Love. Kuda Love got the demo. I remember coming back from JD's party, and we popped it in the car, and we listened to it. It was good good music. Uh, one guy stood out. It was Nelly. So, so this is not Nelly solo. This is St. Lunatics. This is St. Lunatics, this is, yeah. So the first time y'all, y'all, y'all playing this tape, because it's a cassette or the CD, y'all playing this, y'all playing the St. Lunatics, and it just happens to have this guy Nelly on it. Yes. Yes. Murphy Lee and them. Murphy Lee was on right. there. Ali. Ali. Yeah. All yeah. of them was on there. All of them was on there, yeah. It was, good. it was good, though. I, right. I, I mean, if knowing what I know now, I probably would have signed the group. But Kuda, Kuda's genius. Right. He, he was like, yo, you know, I like this guy. I favor this guy a little more than, than the others. Let's, let's try to build up on them because it's easier to get a solo on than a group. Right. So it, let's he take was this that guy. special. He was that special, yeah. You know, it was juvenile around that time. It, right. was, it was a lot of country, Midwest swinging and a lot of right. country grammar going on. Right. So the timing for that worked. Mm. So it was it was Kuda's idea to take Nelly out of the group and make him a solo artist? Yes. Wow. One time for Kuda. One time for Kuda, yeah. Shit. <laughs> this is rap history right here. Yeah. In I'll case you didn't know, now you do. That was genius. I got we got to salute people like that because it's a vision that we I vision. Didn't, you know, I'm not, I didn't think about it to see it, but he he did. Wow. You know? He had the, the 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 foresight to see that. Yes, that was that was a lick. Wow. So he takes Nelly, and so at this time y'all building y'all building a relationship. You're cool with Nelly. Yeah. Oh, Nelly's flying up. You know, Kuda's working on his demo. Coming to Harlem. Uh, he's coming to Jersey, so because Kuda lived in Jersey at okay. that time. So Nelly's flying up from St. Louis. We sleeping on a, you know, we sleeping on the couch. We sleeping on the floor. It was, mm. it was, at Kuda's house, we called that uh, grab a blanket and crash. So let's just say this Kuda's house, <laughs> we grab a blanket and we crash. You know, mm. we, you know, they was doing demos and <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So um, yes, so I'm building a bond with Nelly. You know, th- and this was the time where they took me out of the I Like It video. This was right around the time. So, Mace so, took you out of the like a video. Yeah, so Nelly's doing country grammar. I'm I'm getting ready to go to LA to shoot. I like it. Mace Mace decides same day, yo. He's not in the video. You was on the song. Did you tell us yeah, why I'm on the set. There's nowhere, there was nowhere else you yeah. could find another verse. I Apple he started anything. The, started I'm, the song. I'm on, sure. yeah, I'm that. There's nowhere else you can find. It's, it's, there's a video version, and then there's the wax version, and I'm on the wax version. It's only you can only see, you can only hear the video version looking at the video. So, man, don't have to cut you off. You say he takes helicopters to Six Flags. Yeah. Nowadays, girl, be out for the money and things. But to me, it's so sweet, right? Yeah. So, you bro. So <laughs> yeah, I'm in there. I'm in there. Yeah. yeah. So, You're talking crazy on you know, this. So keep in mind, bro. You know, I'm a teen. I'm a teenager, right? This. You know, Mace is the guy, you know, he I look up to him, I idolized him. Mm. I was 16. This was my you know, this is my hero. Mm. You know? He took me out the video, um, for whatever reasons. I, I'm sure I didn't do anything to Why though? You would have to ask him. I didn't do anything. Well <laughs> Talk to me, man. I was like Listen, you did. Nah, I thought nah. it was school. Talk no, no, to no. me, man. All right, so here's what I can tell you. No, no, no. He thought he lived in Harlem at this time. He thought you wasn't in. He was a fan. Because yeah, there was like Mace is on some mental shit. Like if you fuck up, you can't come to the studio. And he thought you, you wasn't. Get, you can't go to the studio if you fuck up. If you Harlem real, like he's like, call dad can't do this. We do this. You can't. You can't he was on some militant shit crazy. like that, but that wasn't the reason. <laughs> okay, that's what I So, if, but you don't know the reason anymore. I really. Huh? He knows the reason. Uh-huh. I really don't know the reason. But what I can tell you is this: leading up to that. Right, I could tell you the history leading up to that, mm-hmm. the actions leading up to that. Um, Mace was in the Gaucho's gym in what's that Harlem, uh, the Bronx. Um, mm-hmm. He had you know little issues with a guy named Jermaine, Baby Mane. I remember him. I was locked up with him. Yeah. Okay, so they had their little shit. Right, mm-hmm. it had nothing to do with me. It, happened, it started in the gym. What do you mean that day? Yeah, that those issues. Nah, there was the. Uh, no, no. Oh, you talking about with me and him? No, the, the issues with Baby Mane. That didn't start in the gym. Now oh. that was that was outside of the gym. Okay, it it 
you know, things happen in the gym. Right. Right. So what I can tell you is um, what I think led up to it. I, well, I don't know because still to this day, I don't really know. Um, so they had the beef, right? Um, uh, they, they were supposed to meet, whatever. I don't really want to get into that because right. I don't really know it. Indeed. Right. So I'm at the gym. Mace is at the gym. Harlem people, it's a basketball game. It's like a rucker. It's, it's like a rain out at rucker, and mm-hmm. everybody goes to the gaucho gym. Mm-hmm. They, they, they play mm-hmm. it at the gaucho gym, right? So I'm in there, bro. I'm 16. We got all our chains. Long story short, the guy Jermaine snatched my chain, right? So speed the story up. About to shoot, I like it video. Um, and this is where this is where Mace is like, yo, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I didn't really know. I couldn't put two. It, there wasn't two and two for me to put together. It was just all I knew was he told Kuda. I didn't speak to him directly at all. He was just like, "Yo, Kuda was Kuda hung up the phone like, yo, he, we're not going.' I'm in the mall getting my bag to go the next day. Right? Kuda's like, "Yo, we're not going." He's like, "Yo." So Mace took you out the video because you got your chain snatched? No, I won't say that. No, I won't say that. But I'm just telling you. You asking me right. what happened? I don't know what happened, but right. I can tell you what led up to that happening. Mm-hmm. So when you got your ta- chain snatched, what did you do? What did I do? Yeah. Yo, these niggas baby made it. These niggas is killers, man. It's like, I'm 16 years old. What you want me to do? That's no, I'm, I, I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, I'm just niggas... asking. No, no, no. I understand. I'm just asking, like, what did you do? I'm not expecting you to do anything. I'm just asking because I'm I trying to put 16. the... Yeah, there's yeah, a, there's it, a black listen, hole between... Baby, listen. It, he's standing with... It's, it's nothing but killers they standing with. Ain't nothing I can do is, but go back and be like, yo, the nigga made just snatched my chain. But was it a situation where, like, he snatched your chain and they was wearing it or something like nah, that? No, it wasn't like that. I, I end up getting the chain back through my peoples. What, <laughs> is, what, what did May say when you told him you got I, your I didn't chain? Really have, I didn't really have a, 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 a back and forth with Mace about that. Yo, I'm 16 he years said, old. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't. They did that? He said, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Hey, that's crazy. <laughs> Wow. That's how that conversation went. Yeah, yeah, he like that. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, but, but, yeah, I mean. So you feel like, you feel like, since it led up to that, do you feel like he might have looked at that situation a certain type of way and he just was like, let me just eliminate him out the situation, yeah, out of that, that, that situation? That's, that's stupidity, though. That that don't even that doesn't even add up. Hey, this is my look. If my young boy get his chain snatched from a nigga, I'm beefing with. Why am I taking that out on him? Right. Mm. Like, what, what are you talking about? That doesn't sound about? like it's what it would, would be though. Yeah, like, what, why am I taking that out right. on him? This is my young boy. He's sixteen. Yeah, it has I'm to not be an adult. I'm not even twenty two, twenty one. This, this is my young boy. It's like he. So you like, never, I'm really I'm really responsible for him. So you never <laughs> had a if if he got because I'm trying to understand if he had beef with this guy. This guy takes his young boy's chain. His young boy don't go to him and say he took my chain and he don't have anything to say. Wait, say, repeat that one time. His you understand what I him? just said, right? No, no, I'm saying his he young boy go to him and what? You get so, so you went and told you him went that. And, no, you said you, he yes. didn't say anything, right? So he, you said you didn't really have that conversation with him, right? But kind of the reason why you got your chain taken was because of the beef that he had with him, correct? Yes. So you didn't have a conversation with Mace after, about, about about what happened, right? Nah, I already knew what it was about. What are we talking about? They, they, I know that I'm aware of the the previous beef or the you know what I'm saying. I'm aware of the beef, so I'm not gonna ask him. Hey, do you know this guy? Why would he do that? No, I already know what's up. So you were just kind of like, <laughs> right? I wasn't looking at it like that. I was gonna yeah. like, yo, this nigga took my chain, like nah, you know. But what I'm, mean? Already, like, I'm already with it. What I didn't know it was it would happen right then, right there, that, at that time. Right. That's what I didn't know. Okay. Right? So but you were my, just kind of like a casualty of the situation. Yes, casualty of war. Casualty right. of war. I'm okay. 16 years old. Well, what would you like to say, Jermaine? Because it looked like you have something to say and you're not saying it. <laughs> what would you like to say? It's the gold teeth for me. It's the gold teeth? <laughs> it's the gold teeth. It, it's the hat. It's the two, three hats you got on also. Like, it's the Nike socks it. with the Adidas sneakers for me, but I ain't saying nothing. I was chilling. <laughs> you know better. Yo, so leading up to Mr. that. Mr. Fly Guy. You couldn't right. hold that one in. <laughs> like, you just had to do that right now. For me? Him. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he did. So, oh, me? no, him, because he had to say so. No, so leading uh, up to that, bro, I, I don't know what happened. I don't think that's a reason. Listen, I signed right. a deal with Penalty. Mace had points on my album. He right. was eating all for me regardless. So it was in so my for, mind. I'm for, thinking, yo, slow up. But for people that don't that don't understand what points mean, so it means like Mace helped get you get you your deal, yes. right? Now, 
it's it, it benefits him that your music comes out because he's he eats, he eats off yes. your, your 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 music. He eats off your album, your singles, whatever, yeah. right? So now if it's starting to feel like so him taking you off and out the video, it feels like he's starting to stunt or hurt your your flow. I feel like it was like yo. So this is the, during the time Harlem World was coming out, right? right? So because this is I like it. This is the Harlem World. I like this it. Is, this is. Uh, springboarded off off of his 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 situation. Right. And this is the his video budget. with the cannons. Yes, this is the video you with the cannons. His cannons. Yeah, nah, that was a big deal. I know it was a big deal. Remember Jay Z said. Remember Jay Z said. Chewing your fans out of cannons. We gonna get to that. I'll check it out. So, I knew so it was just so If cool. anybody goes, they look at the video. They will not see me in the video. I was right. going the day before. They took me out. Right. So this is that video. So this essentially is him. This is his situation. You know, I got my situation with penalty, and that's cool. He got points. But, but right. in Mason's mind, he might have been like, hmm, do I want to put Cardi on this? This shit might take off some two man. And what? On the boomerang to that is you got points on my album. Mm. If I right. take off, you take off. Mm. Do you think he looked at you as like right? competition? It's always competition. Don't ever get it fucked up. It's always competition. It's always competition. Even with brothers. Even with brothers. Right. Absolutely. That's the only thing that it's would make sense in this story. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. But and yeah, and 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 you younger, you looking up to him. So the communication was kind of not not full fledged, right? Yeah. It, you know, it was. I didn't have the. I didn't have the leverage to really like eye to eye, man right. to man, and nigga like I right. could do today. Right. You know what I mean, I was a shorty, just like big telling C's, yo. I got you a deal. You go come out. Yeah, you right, go come right. out. Right, <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Nigga, you go come out. Don't trip. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you never asked him why you wasn't in the video? Never asked him directly, no. I just assume, and I'm still assuming. And like to answer your question, I don't think it was changing. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I might. don't think it was. It, it couldn't. It, it might have been the record deal thing. I don't know. So, so let's do it like this. Mace. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> why? The world wants to know. Why? Why? Why, Mace? Why did you take Cardan out of the I Like It video? You knew he had the first verse. Absolutely. Hmm? You, knew he start, you, knew, you knew he started the record off. Right. right. Right? Like, why Why did you not... We need answers. Allow him to jump on a trampoline. What the yeah. problem is. <laughs> okay? Tur- turns why out, <laughs> turns out the, the guy Mino from Harlem World, you know. He shout, shout out to Mino. He had a crazy song. Mino. That's my guy. He shot. I love that song. I'm that, that yeah. nigga. Come through blaming. <laughs> oh, that's I lo- Yeah. I, yo, that song is crazy to this yo, day. Classic, I love classic, that. Classic, classic. So Ooh. Uh, Mino took his shots in the middle of that because, you know, they had to deal with vacant lot. Mino shot at the hove. Mino shot at Young. Yeah. Jigger back then. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, Jigga shot back on a Mind Right remix. Yeah, he said, I'm that nigga. Mm-hmm. He said, uh, This is where you think, get this cannon yeah, shit. You think this, that, this is you where this comes from. Think, Everybody think, think, this cannon out of cannon shit. Cannon cannon shit. Cannon I'm that nigga. Fat ass out of cannons before. I'm that nigga. I'm yeah. that nigga. Because that's from his song. Right. So uh-huh. and that song if, was. That if song that never was happened, uh, Mano would never have this cannon thing in his head. You know what it is, right? Because <laughs> the video was but dope. It was, yeah, it was Harlem World. You know, it was a dope. It was, you know, it was friendly. It was family. It was family fun and friendly. I, I like no, it, it was. was. Yes, I, yes, I, I liked it. And, 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 it's, and what I'm saying is all in jest, right? But what I'm saying is this. We talking to Mace. Mace, why did you take Cardan out of the video? Because if you had been in the video, you would have got shot out of cannon. No, everybody didn't get shoot out of there. Everybody didn't get no, shot everybody out of there. Everybody would have did the daredevil shit. No, yeah, I would have did my verse. <laughs> right. I would have did my verse like I'm supposed to. I was the lead. I'm, I'm kicking this pup off. Fuck you, man. I'm not jumping out of I'm, I'm on here. Hello. <laughs> you know what happened? I mean, hello. Hello. I, I, I mean, hello. What, what happened? What happened? I, I see what happened. What happened? He was getting too big, man. That's no. what I said, competition. Yeah. If you really think yeah. about it, yeah. when you look at Bay Solos, when he did his verse, it a up he did a little dance. Right. Cardan would have been right there. Right. He, could, he had that, he he had that step, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had that step. He didn't want those B-rolls. He's the only one that had that step. He was mad. So he went Brandy, Brandy around the time. Brandy like, we're Cardi, we're Cardi. Oh, <laughs> wow. It was Brandy. No, like no, 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 no. <laughs> he probably was like, I don't like that. Yo, <laughs> We got an 86 this nigga. <laughs> right. Mace, we need to understand. So even Yo, after that, we need some you understanding. Guys, Let me say this real quick. Let me say this real quick. Mace, Mace changed my whole life. Changed my whole life. Never had to work a day in my life. Changed my whole life. I'm able to be creative and make money for right. the rest of my life. 
I can never, I, I, essentially, like, I can never really be mad at him for There's disagreements, and I would like to know some things, but right. kid changed my whole life. I could have been a nigga, I could have been still where I was at in the PJs. Rolling dice, could have been dead, could have been in jail. Who knows? Mm, I'm shit. not even thinking about that. I'm, <laughs> what I know is what he did, what, what happened. You right. know what I'm saying? The end result is that yes. you was able to have a platform. Yes. And Thanks you was able to, to get. Do, do it to him. Right, do it to him. And you was put in rooms. You was put around people that actually led to you actually coming out of the hood and changing life. One time for Mace for doing that, man. Yes. But we still. Mace, we still need you to have a conversation with Carter, and we still want to know why he got took off that uh, out of the video. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt me too. Because he was yeah. cute as that so me. that's the thing. It's like, <laughs> that hurt me. what can I really say? But in all actuality, your feelings are hurt. You just that hurt never me. addressed it. Could you never imagine getting an outfit, getting ready to be for the video? And yeah. then, right. It's like going to a party. It's like going to a party. Somebody yeah. like I'm gonna school. pick you up at eight. And then yeah. you stand there waiting at the curb like this, and nobody never show up. Yeah. Is this what Eminem said? What Eminem said? He was standing there for, in the blistering cold, and he just said no. <laughs> That's the stand shit. But nah, Mace, I, I owe a lot to Mace, man. I can never, uh, I can never ultimately be up to, too too mad at him because you know he made a way for me to. to Were to, you guys yeah. like? Are you guys still cool? Yeah, we cool. We did songs after that. You know, we cool. I tried to get him Mace to do verses recently. Be mm. like, yo, Cardi, if it ain't that loud, we're not doing it. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> what? If it ain't that loud, cool, Jay, what we doing? Uh, <laughs> well, they wanted him to do... Uh, they wanted him to do Camp. Camp, Camp. Camp signed on for Versus. So Killer. They wanted, I think, Swiss and a restart for him. Was, was, May said he wanted me to die. He was like, Mace was like, yo, I need... I need, I need to talk the M's. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I yeah. need those M's for verses. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you want? You wanted an M? He wanted a honey bun. A honey bun. <laughs> a real honey bun. A, a meal real, ticket. A, a meal ticket. Damn. Wesley, we'll he hopefully he'll, he'll get it. I had him gyro because you know Nori. We all cool with Nori. Shout out right. to Nori. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Nori, we got on the line. I'm like, yeah, I could, I, you know, I could holler at Mace. And um, he's like, yo, I, I'm going to holler at Ja. I got Ja, ja ready. Oh, Mace against Ja? That would have been fire. Hmm. That would have been fire. That's nah. Nah, 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 I would have liked Mason Cam. I like Mason Cam. Mason Cam, Mason Cam, Cam would be fine because that's a Harlem yeah. reunite. Like, yeah, but it's a lot of yeah, dips. That, Cam, it's a lot of dips that smoke. It's like once you get into the them 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 those deep waters, it's yeah. a lot of dips that smoke. Like, yeah, it's but a lot of dips that smoke. That's yeah. a lot for Mason. That's a lot of dips that um, smoke, man. The deep waters. That's where they take you out. Right, the first ten. <laughs> that's what Mayweather do. Yeah, take you out to the, that's what Mayweather so do. Take you out to the yeah, deep water. Go, nigga think he in the seventh round. He lasted. Bang, <laughs> you done. So let me All ask you: How did you feel when he decided to become a pastor? Um, Mace was, was that always like out of um, character for him. Nah, I really wasn't. I think Mace was always like a prophetic guy. He always. He always believed in God. He always, even on the Harlem album, he has a um a interlude with Boys Choir Harlem, and he's singing, and he's like crying, and you know just. He was really in touch love. with God and spirituality. Yeah, I wouldn't say to the pastor degree, but I would say yes, he had his relationship with with God, and um, I wasn't like totally shocked. I just don't think. Uh, I think I thought it was extreme. I feel like you Why? could, because uh, I feel like you could you could take a break without becoming a pastor. <laughs> I feel like you'd be like, yo, you know what? We'll take a break, you know, or you could, or you could do that and change your, you know, you don't have to curse. You know what I'm saying? You you can dumb your shit down and promote a positive message without mm. going extreme. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing: when you go extreme and you become a pastor, it's like you box yourself and you can't really come out. It's like, hey, why are you talking about bitches? You was a pastor. Mm -hmm. Not really, because even nah, in his, but see to you, but no, because I rem I, I watched his interview with um. What's her name? Um, Angie Martinez. And he was saying it because she what's was What's her name? I, I couldn't think. <laughs> really? I, I got her name right. But you I said what's think. her name? I couldn't think. Shut up. But I saw his interview with Angie Martinez, and he was basically saying it too. Like, you can't tell me about my relationship with God. Just mm -hmm. because you have a certain perception about things 
or because you feel a certain type of way on how things should be doesn't mean that I have to feel that way. You can't tell me about my relationship. That's true. With that man, so you can't know, tell just, nobody about yeah, that. Yeah, I just was, I just was wondering how people. But when you become a felt. when you become a pastor, though, you go on a little past it just having a relationship. Yeah. You actually preaching That's to people. What I mean. Right, you're preaching That's to people thing. and everything. But the majority so you preach of to people on a Sunday, and then on on Tuesday you be like, yo, fuck these bitches. Yeah. Da, da, da. Now you can't preach to people on Sunday right. being king of diamonds on Monday. Yeah, that's absolutely. It. Sorry. Yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I so mean, I, I feel like that's that's extreme. You get what right, I'm saying? Right, you can't right. do that. And there's a way to do it without being that extreme. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You can be like, yo, you know, I changed. I, you know, my music is like this now. Right, I changed. And you know what? It, and to, yeah, and then you know what? The same thing? And then you know what, yo? Boom. Now I'm back in this space. You know, I'm having fun. I'm 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 divorced. You you have so, more you have more leg, wiggle room to to play with. To that's right. Judge. Yeah, but when you yes yes when you go past you, it's like you uh, put, that hat is too big to put yeah, on like you fit on. Did you feel like it was a gimmick? No, nah, I'm not. No, no. Nah, like she just asked. I'm not. I didn't feel any kind of way. I don't think it was a gimmick because he, he's doing it right now. He has a relationship with God, and ain't nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with that? But I feel like. You, it, it goes extreme when you become a pastor and a minister. It's like a new hat. It's like, yeah. Right. It's a big hat. It's a big hat. It's big shoes to fill. It's so much ridicule that comes with that. It's like, huh. <laughs> I couldn't do it. But, but, yeah, you couldn't do it. But he feels, I guess he feels like it's all right. He, he takes that thing. up with God. Here's the other thing. When you do that, how do you come out of it? How do you? Because um, ultimately, music is a business, right? So... Kurt Franklin is Kurt Franklin. He ain't never doing no, you, he never doing no Magic City shit. Even though Kurt Franklin got bops. <laughs> you know Kurt Franklin got good oh, music. is also known for having a porn addiction. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, so the man, I mean. Listen, now, now you barking up. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Now, you, now, you now going you're barking up another tree. Yeah, because no barking up that tree. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what. what but so, and we all no got need. addictions over here. Yeah, there's no need to. <laughs> all right? We, we all got addictions. <laughs> and you the one that know them porn sites, too. I do. Woo. You like, woo. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just gonna say this, man. Go ahead, bro. Nobody grew up with their past, and he just happened to be in the limelight, so we all have to mm-hmm. judge him. That's right. When yeah. you go to church for the first time, you is a pastor. The yeah, church, it, that's a pedestal. Somebody's talking to you. Right. Literally. Like nobody ever Googled or said, Who is this man before he stepped in front of this? Well, I can tell you who that right. is. He so, is a, I can tell you who he is. He's a human. That exactly. makes mistakes, that's right. and that's where, that's, that's right. where it starts. And that's right. Right. If that man yeah, like so, to to to, to yeah, motherfucking yeah, yeah, there's no chicken, listen, his chicken. No, no, I said that because you just said something. You made that's a two reference. different things. He made though. a reference to King of Diamonds, and then, that's two different that's things. Though. Though. You can't be in church on Sunday and be a King of Diamonds on Monday. You, you, you know what? You, you can. You, you, you can't give it out flyers to go to church. Yes, that's two different things, though, because what that man doing in the confines of his own home and the privacy of his own home is his business right. if you put on the hat to be preaching to people on Sundays and then we see you tossing dollars in, in, in a strip club no. on, on, on Tuesdays <laughs> and then making raps about bitches and niggas it's and all that we uh-huh. gonna look at you like really pastor mm-hmm. like how, it's it don't, clearly contradiction yeah, right. Like, right. so you know like so that's why I say it was extreme yeah yeah, yeah but I don't wanna focus on Mace and his Pastorhood, okay. um, it's all good. Nelly was in that group. Kuda took Nelly out the group. Oh, slow up, started. slow <laughs> up. We ain't in no rush. Start going crazy, crazy from there. You didn't. You wasn't in the video, so you with Kuda. You went and, and y'all and y'all hung out with Nelly. Nelly hung out. Nelly with hung us. out with y'all. Yes. Y'all y'all vibing. Y'all making music. You make a song. You put Nelly on your song. Yes. Nobody in the game knows Nelly yet. No. Kanye, produced by Kanye West. Produced by Kanye West. Can we get something right there on that? Yeah. You probably, you probably got the first song with anybody in the music business with Nelly. I do. Wow. Yes, one thousand percent. That's dope. Yeah. Paid Nelly. Paid him out my budget. Paid him out his budget. That was probably his first. Kuda was our manager. Kuda was like, yo, yeah, you know we gotta put, you know we got, he know he, you know he gotta get on this. Right. But I like Nelly. Oh, ever since I heard Nelly, I like Nelly. He was dope to me. I didn't, he didn't have to like com, com, uh, convince me to put Nelly on the song. So he had that mel- the melodic. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah, was doing yeah, that then. He had that down, down baby shit. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. No. Mm, you can find me in St. Louis rolling on dubs, smoking on dubs and clubs. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out how to make 
One of my favorite Nelly songs is Underlay, Underlay, Mommy. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to figure out how to make that over. Can I executive produce your new album coming up? Pick that up. <laughs> give him some, give him some, give him some. The world song. wants to know, yeah. man, you know. I just need a shot to show my genius. You go. No, we go. We gonna get to your genius. Was Kanye um with Rockefeller when he produced? No, Kanye was producing. Kanye wasn't even really rhyming then. He was I know because I know he was a producer you know before crazy? anything, and they Kanye kinda was had signed to DJ Angeletti. The right, that's what, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Crazy cat. Mm-hmm. Kanye yeah. was signed to D Dot. Bad Boy Hitman. Yeah. He was a producer on um. Yeah. Yeah. On bad boy, yeah. So bad Kanye D-Dot. was signed to him. So um, yeah, he was just a producer. Right. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow. That's that's this yeah. is this is fucking history. Yeah. <laughs> so you you established this relationship with Nelly. Uh-huh. Cooler gets Nelly a deal with, with Universal. Yes. At this time, penalty falls. So I'm I'm in limbo. Mm-hmm. Right. I lose my deal essentially. I don't really have a deal because penalty folded. Nori, everybody don't want to label on it. on the boat. Every everything folded. Nelly gets his deal with Universal. Shit with Mayhem. I, 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 uh, country Grammar did so. Country Grammar sold ten million records, bro. Life changing. Now, did you start working with Nelly behind the scenes? Well, I could have country. country Grammar. Harlem World, because this is how close the time was. Harlem World was nominated for a Source Award mm. in L.A. This is the Source Awards, right? Wow. So Harlem World as a group was nominated for award. I wasn't in. I like it, but I still went out there. Like, all right, right. well, you know, I put I put time and I put time and pain on that album. Right, like that shit. Ain't, like we went through like military shit. That shit was like boot camp. Mm-hmm. They used to come in like, like making the band that you know whatever. <laughs> like that. That's how that shit was mm-hmm. with the group. They'll right. tell you the same shit. That Yo, shit wasn't I easy. That niggas gonna get quarter waters right now. <laughs> <laughs> Not the red ones. Yo, the great ones. The great oh. ones. Yeah. I mean, we didn't do none of that, but it was. It was extreme work. Like, I right. put in pain and time in it. I was a kid, bro. I had to ask my mom to leave. I had school the next day. It was a lot. Right? So. So you wasn't on country grammar? I, I, I could have. Could have been. But I went to L.A. for uh, for the Source Awards because Harlem was nominated. So country grammar comes out, takes off. Damn. Takes off. Nelly was on it. Like, that shit went for weeks. He was number one for weeks. Mm. Like, oh, he, yo, he, I used to be around there like, oh, we did, we did 100,000 this week. We on week five. So, <laughs> just the backtrack. We still doing a hundred thousand at week five. So, just to backtrack, you could have been on the um, country grandma country album. grandma album. Yeah. But you, how long was this? You went to the Source Awards instead of being in the studio. Nah, it you was there. Was, you had to be there to there be a part of it. Yeah, it I wasn't was there like I Wayne send this came, to you. Yeah. Nah, nah. I was there when Lil Wayne came. Lil Wayne came fifty. All the stories you hear about Weezy coming and leaving. Right. <laughs> niggas have a hundred. Niggas spent twenty thousand to decorate everything for right. Wayne. Yeah. Wayne coming there, let his verse in ten minutes and gone. I heard. And they take everything. <laughs> Word. Yeah, they I take heard everything. That. All the crystal, they took everything with him. So he came to a Nelly section. Nelly, uh, Lil Wayne is on Country Grammar, yes. Right, and he came in, 50 niggas. <laughs> 10 minutes, gone. Such a Libra. Did his, wow. yeah, did his, did his first. Such a Libra. <laughs> took everything. Niggas want to wind and die and sit with Wayne. Wayne like, right, time. peace. <laughs> gone. I came when I had to do. I'm out. Gone. Wow. Would you have wow. done it differently? Oh, of course, yeah. I would have wanted to be on Country Grammar. Yeah, I would have wanted to be on Country Grammar. This is when I start writing them, right? So this is when I start. So to go into the writing world, so around, so when Mace was getting on, Mace was cool with Big, on, right? Mm-hmm. So Big came to Mace like, yo, I got a group called Junior Mafia. I like you, Mace, you dope. Can you write my group five songs? Cool. Mm. Mace like, yeah, what you got? This is 98. Yo, I got, I give you 30,000. Mace like, cool, done. This is how Cam and him end up writing Crush on you. My main said oh. it was my pen. So, so I'm I'm still in on that because Mace paid me to write. I wrote songs. This is how I started writing right. even before nearly everything. Right. Big gave Mace money to write for Dream Mafia. Right. Mace ended up giving me and Cam the money, <laughs> like wow. or, or just breaking us off. So if Big, right. if Big, Big gave Mace thirty. Uh, Mace probably gave us fifteen or whatever. You get what I'm saying? What did you write for Dream Mafia? I wrote on the uh, Wu soundtrack. The, what, uh, what song was that? That was I forget a, the song. Young Casanova, I forget. Mm. I forget um, a couple joints though. Right. Um, I forget. That was a while ago. I'll have to look at it. But yeah, I, that's how I started, and I got paid, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I've I been writing for my whole life. I just wrote this, these two verses. Nigga gave me a thousand dollars. This is the lick, mm-hmm. money wise. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how I got into writing. 
Mm-hmm. Writing is and then And you got credits on that. I got credit on that. Mm-hmm. I got credit on that. How it did you? A lot, but I got credit. How did you start developing writing with Nelly? Um. Well, you know, me and Nelly, we've been friends before. Um, before Country Grammar. Before Country Grammar, right? So we we always had a cool. You know, we were always cool. It's like you know, we homeboys. So if you put on a beat, it's like if, if I'm here with you putting on a beat, mm-hmm. you coming in with the best song. I don't really look at at the time. I didn't really look at writing as like a thing. It was a thing, but it wasn't. I didn't look at it like, all right, so maybe before we do this song, here, sign this split sheet. Mm. That's fucks up creativity. You get what I'm part. saying? Mm. Yeah, I didn't, at the time, I'm a young boy. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm trying, I'm grooving, trying to make the best song. Mm-hmm. We're not doing that, but if, you, if you're if dealing with an older person that's more savvy and they're like, mm, all right, you, you don't know any better? Cool, finish mm-hmm. the song. Mm. Finish the song, little buddy. I'm not saying that was him, but mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I wasn't as savvy as I as I am now. You get what I'm saying? So, what songs did you work on with him? I worked on Hot in Here. Hot in Here. I worked on Hot in Here with Nelly. Um, yeah. That's one of his. That's, that's, Grammy, that's one yeah. of the biggest ones. Yeah. One of his biggest ones. That's one of the ones I did. A, a couple that's of one of his biggest ones. Like so. So. Speaking of Hot in Here. <laughs> so hot. That's for me. Thank yes. you. Yeah. So hot. Did yeah. you? Did you? Did you write the hook for Hot in Here? No, Pharrell wrote the hook. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, again, once again, Neptune's produced that. And Pharrell wrote that hook, yeah. Pharrell produced and wrote that hook. Mm-hmm. So, so what, we did the verses. You did the verses. Yeah. You and Nelly kind of basically did it together. Yeah, we co-wrote it. Co-wrote it. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow, come on. Let's. Yeah, that's Grammy. That's Grammy family. That's Grammy family. You get a Grammy for that? Yeah. You got a Grammy? Yeah. This nigga got a Grammy. Yeah. This nigga got a fucking Grammy. I knew that. Yeah. Hold on. That. You ain't never sat on a couch with a Grammy award winning artist. You absolutely right. Slash writer. I cannot. Never. You right. You looking at me because I don't have a Grammy. <laughs> but I will get my Grammy. That's what it's matters. A lot, it's That's a lot to that. You some. right. He'll yeah. get his Grammy. Give him some. Give him some. Give him some. I will get my Grammy. The flow Speaking was always Gucci Collar got that on I was like, yo, who's writing this? I can't tell The way it. he was flowing, I was like, that's... that's wow. First of all, country niggas I don't say... Do. Country niggas don't say ma. <laughs> I, I knew Cardell was already on the set, though. I knew that was going to have it over there. I was like, that's hard. Right. So, how, that how that verse went? The ma one? Yeah. Um, I was like, oh, good verse. It has a both days. Oh. You wrote that part? You know, wait for the right time to get them keys. And I'm leaving. We leave it. Oh, we in the rest of my evening. Check it. Got it like at the top of the fourth days. And the pit not root the earth. I'm beating. I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. There's a ma in there. That's what you're looking for. I need you to get up. That's what you wrote. Oh, yeah. 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 So, but, 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 so, but, hold on, just to be, just but, to agree, but to that, put a disclaimer, Nelly is talented. He he does right. write, you know. Of course, but yeah. we talking about specifically that. Yes. That verse right there. Yeah. That was a wow. sudden the whole song. The, the whole song. The whole song. That was a sudden mace flow. Whoa. <laughs> that was that yeah. was like that was southern and he mace. And you know, being a southern mace kind of. Kind right, but yeah. Smooth dude. What? Yeah. No, I, I got a lot of respect for Nelly. I'm cool with Nelly. Me too. Yeah. Nelly changed my life too, man. Yeah, that's that's changed my life. See, I didn't get my. Publishing on that because mm. you didn't sign a split G. because I was just young and dumb and you know so if I don't did, say young and dumb you I was just misinformed you didn't I was know you but didn't know it's this, okay yeah, I didn't know any better yeah mm-hmm. you so, got a problem if I did it would be a dead we we talking you know they still that should have still in Lay's commercials this is a big right. a big deal right you're still getting paid from that yeah yeah but I know it feels good to know that you was a part of the process it feels good yeah it feels good it, that's like, not just going nowhere that's like a I that's like raw base. It takes two to make a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred years. Well, those are those are the joints happy. I call. Yeah, hundred years songs. They be mm. around when mm. we all gone. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hot in here. Yeah. I don't know if you understand the, the heaviness of this. <laughs> that ain't, that's that's one song. I work with Nelly on a bunch of joints. That big? Eagle on. Oh, you got all the big ones. Got down and get your eagle on, girl. Hell no, you ain't getting thick, so you know. I'm about to come out to that song. Drop down and get your eagle on. Niggas not doing grandmothers, though. Niggas not doing grandmothers, though. Excuse me? Shots fired. Niggas is not doing grandmothers. We still good friends, man. You know, we chop it up. Nelly's a good guy. I think there's endless opportunities with Nelly. 
You know what I mean? So I never, oh. I never like to take people's credit, but I don't but want nobody taking my take credit. Your, exactly. You know so you gotta, you gotta. I would never take nobody's credit. And 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 we live in a time where you gotta sometimes remind people yeah. of of who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. we speak into like we. This is two thousand and what. Twenty one. <laughs> okay, had a rough night, all right? Um, <laughs> you gotta let people know because that's this this a generation after a generation that came after what y'all was doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And with 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 the Harlem mo movement, so they might have missed the Clue era, might have missed mm -hmm. caught in the, the hot young rapper mm -hmm. that was part of Harlem world. So you gotta remind people yeah. of who you are. You sometimes you gotta, you know. Sometimes you gotta. Take that dirt off your shoulder. You what gotta, you gotta, you gotta put niggas in their place every now and then. Unhumble. Why are you pointing to me? Yeah. Like, I said yeah. every now and then like that. Oh, you gotta put me in my. You did this. I'm not talking about you. Okay. Me and you like this. Okay. But every now and then you gotta put niggas in their place. You understand? <laughs> you do, cause if you don't. People would, you know, if, if you if you like cool, then they like cool. Yeah, you gotta yeah. remind niggas. You gotta say, you gotta say, listen. You gotta look in the mirror and say, self. Don't ever play yourself. I am no. that new. <laughs> but she said, self. I am that nigga. That nigga. Yeah. You gotta mean know these niggas. Not mean no, mean no. I'm that nigga. Yeah. You know. This is this is real though, man. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot to unpack. A lot, a lot. But you hear? Yeah. That's what a I lot. Understand. I did love and hip hop. Uh, well, let's get it. Let's let's. Well, bring this it back. This is the life. This R is. Hold the on, life. hold on. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on. Like hold on. Hold on. You're not. You're not. Let me. Let me do this. Let me do this. No, you're not doing it right. Commodore. That's me. Let me do this. Do this with me. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Commodore's co-hosting today. He stepped up in the fucking house. Nobody asked him. He's here. He climbed over the gate. That's what I do. Like, I don't want you to. I don't want you to rush it out like that, and they don't catch it. Yeah. You understand? Got to like save gotta, it in the moment. You gotta. You gotta ease it in there. Nah, yeah, that, you don't just jam. Yeah, it in don't there. You just. Gotta ease, gotta ease it, it in, in there. It's going in the booty hole. That's what y'all saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> like it's going in the booty hole. You got it. Ease it. Don't just jam it in there. Chill. You gotta ease it in there. You tried that. Mind your business. <laughs> just, asking, just asking. Just asking. Business too much. Just asking. That's a lot, right? That's a lot. That's it was a lot. lot. No, I'm talking. About, it's a lot. You being up asking. Me oh, that's like a that. lot. Oh, oh, information. You in my business? I was just talking about the situation. Was business. a lot. It's a lot of information. <laughs> it was a lot. A lot of too much. <laughs> you relax. I okay. know your stories. <laughs> okay. I just said one. Fucking <laughs> lady relax. thought my father was fucking. <laughs> Tupac. All right then. So, I heard that when I was out the window, so I was yeah, he's probably climbing over. Yeah, I was just just coming up. Okay. This 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 hit show, but it wasn't a hit show in the beginning. Yeah. Shout out to Mona Scott, VH1, mm -hmm. loving hip hop, taking rappers and their girlfriends, putting them on this show. Things are changing. Yeah. And it's this song that comes on on the New York because the New York is the the. the New York the original. don't have vocals, but they don't have vocals. But ATL was the ATL first. Got a, ATL was the first. But the music, vocals. okay, okay, it so was the, same music, same, same music. music. Yeah. And then I remember they go, "This is the life. This, this yeah. is the life. This is the life. This is now ain't that like him? Ain't music. Not, that's you. That's me. Oh shit! Come on, put it right here. <laughs> Girl. Put it up right wow. here. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Did, wow. Did, now I I knew this shit because we friends. Yeah. Right. Now, wow. That's, that's season nine. You so did this, that. You, this is nine years ago. Nine years ago. Yes. The, oh, I don't know how they do the season, but essentially, you, yes. You did that with Lofi? I did that with Lofi. Because Lofi, Lofi yes. had called Lofi me. Lofi does, does the, all, he does all yeah. of the theme songs, yeah. The music. The music for Did you get your publishing for that? Yes, absolutely. So you still get checks for that? Every 90 days. Oh. Hey. Okay. Okay. I'm about to say Shout out to Mo. What Cardi said? Jingles. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what Cardi said? No, if I could do it. We what? need a jingle for the now show. Now if I could do the, the, main, the main girl theme song. We, that, 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 <laughs> another now story. We we, yeah, story. Yeah, we yeah, never know, yeah, though. Yeah. Aha. You still getting uh -huh. Mona Scott money. 
Yes. The Wiz, I don't know if that's Viacom or not. I forget. <laughs> yeah, it's Viacom. We yeah. should talk about, like she said, we should talk about a, a theme song for this podcast. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. I'm here for that. I'm a writer too, by the way. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, let's do it right after. I work with Justin Timberlake. You work with Justin Timberlake. Yes, really. Over at yeah, I work. I work with like. Why wow. do you Diddy. say really like I that? I did. Like um, uh, what's the name for Diddy? Uh, the Mary J. Blige song. It's a, Which it's one? A lot. Um, this is on Press Play. Um, Press Play. It's called Making It Hard. Um, couple songs, man. A lot of songs. Uh, I'm trying to see what else y'all would uh, really know. It's a lot. It's a lot. I've been you in this joint. I've been in this joint for like twenty. Nah, I'm saying. Cause he been doing it for a I've long time. I've been in this joint for twenty balls. So it's a lot. I would have to write shit down. Wow. That's I work fine. with Nick Cannon. Do you? Do you? Um, Missy see, Elliott. Um, wow! 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 Jermaine Dupree. Um, do you feel Lil like? Uh, you Rick tell Ross, me. Uh, tell me when you just mentioned Nick Cannon, you wrote the hit, right? Was it? I did. The, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I did the um, song that everybody knows. Yes, I did this joint with Nick Cannon and the Yin Yang Twins. Yeah, I oh. forget the name of it, but yeah, it was it was his best song. Yeah, because I know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if Nick would feel that way. Huh? If that I mean, was his best song. Yeah, it was. You think it's Gigolo? It's oh no, you know what Gigolo <laughs> was? Gigolo is his biggest song. But Gigolo, Gigolo is his biggest yeah, yeah, Gigolo is his biggest song. Yeah. I think it was on the album though. Okay. I think it was on the album. Okay. Wow. Do you feel you got a, you, you you put a lot of work in. Do you feel shit. like you get the credit that you deserve? Um, I don't think so, but I feel like in this world, this society, man, you it's, it's 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 due every day. You know what I mean. You gotta, you gotta keep, keep going. You gotta keep going every day because if you if you wait for that uh, validation, validation mm. is for parking. Woo! Uh, mm. Come on. Yeah. You don't wait for approval. You approve yourself. Yeah. Validation is for parking, bro. You hear that? <laughs> I just heard that. You heard it. But do you, do you feel like... You stepped up in this house without I validation. No, I ain't even, even asked the question. <laughs> Park that ass on the couch. I sure did. I, I was going to say, do you feel like your humbleness can be the reason why you don't get the validation? I, I, I believe... Because I can tell you, you kind of like laid yeah. back. Yeah, I'm reserved. I, I, I don't really get off on like... Like flattery and stuff is cool. But mm-hmm. There's some people that feed off of that and live right. off of that. It's not my thing. Mm. Um, I get it, but I, I get more, I make more peace with, you know, my friends and people that, you know, that I, that I love, mm-hmm. not people that I don't know. You know, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I make more peace with yeah. that. That that fuels that for me. That does, you know, that that's the substitute for me. You know, I mean, I would love, you know, I would love to get a fucking, uh, you know, one of these writer or whatever acknowledgement things, but it's not really who I am. It's cool. It's whatever. As long as I know, as long as, you know, I keep pushing and certain people that I validate mm-hmm. give me that, it's, mm-hmm. I'm cool. I'm going to okay. look into that. I'm going to yeah. get you one of them fucking what do you, awards, But being humble, <laughs> yeah, well, being humble does have a boomerang effect to you. You know, people it take does. advantage of you. Yeah, people you, take you know, it, you. it depends. It depends. Because people will, people will try to take advantage of you if you know how to... If, people won't try to take advantage of you if you know how to balance that humbleness with standing yeah. up for yourself. You yeah. get what I'm saying? I'm learning that. That's, 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 coming, that's coming to me, but... I am who I am, I, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's whatever. As long as the, as long as that every. But you know days. every yeah. But you know the thing we still live in. We still in it. You know. Um, luckily, you started early enough that you're still young enough to still get out here and and, and get to opportunity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it ain't it ain't it ain't never over, brother. It ain't never over. Ever. I mean, and you built those over. silent relationships where it doesn't have to. You you can go to certain people like you are you you're opening doors, you're creating doors, and it doesn't have to be. Everybody doesn't have to see it as long as you have that opportunity. That's yeah. all that matters. And I'm just getting better. I'm getting my, my talent is growing. Is mm. that's why I want an EP. You want EP? <laughs> you laughing? Look, everything's funny till you get it. <laughs> till you till you, no. till you get a Nipsey Hussle no. or uh, what's the name to the to, no, no, to the Grammys? No, 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 no. It's no, all no. for the game. No, 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 no. Till you get nominated. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. See Davies. Shout out to Davies. You see Davies got what's the name? I forget what? this dude from Griselda and them dudes. What do you got? He, uh, right, yeah, 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 definitely, yo, definitely. But we, we need we our talk. breaks. Andre gave Puff his break. We gon' everybody. You feel what I'm saying? Gonna, Take steps type of people talk. to believe in you, and then look that's, what happened. That's definitely. Like, he, he act like he act like no. a nigga running up on no, no. street. Yo, we <laughs> gon' talk. We gon' talk. Yo, we gon' talk. <laughs> Yeah. No, we got Mace right now. I'm not gonna like Mace right now. Yo, Cardi, Cardi, I see what you did, but can me tell. And let me tell you though, That's we about crazy, to, we about man. to, it's about to, it's about to go crazy. We about to, we about to do this project. Um, 
Me and Jim Jones, the Lobby Boy Project. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm on now. ISO. Let's talk. Let's go to Jim. Crazy. I'm, I'm on Jim's now. last album, Still Dipset, featured Jim Jones. Yeah. You excited? Avon Carter. Yeah, that's my. Uh, that's yeah. my. That's my two chain. Yeah, that's my it's other alter, handle. Yeah. It's called Avon Carter. I'm on that. Still Dipset. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a yeah. fact. Well, that's finished. Yeah. So that, that's me. That's me mm. doing that. So I'm. You know. I'm. You know what I mean? I'm still shaking the moving. And 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 I um, work with you, nigga. Don't act like I ain't come to Harlem and stay in Harlem all yeah, day. Don't act like I ain't pull up in Harlem with my gotta, shirt open. I got a gift for the kitchen show. I'm gonna give this to Georgie because give it to Georgie. Yeah, this is his kitchen talk. Uh, this oh. is a coaster for you. A oh, coaster for she you. get a coaster. Yeah. She yeah. get a yeah. fucking yeah. coaster. Yeah. Yeah. I be your friend. Niggas don't come oh. to get this. Nah, this is, this is for the, the, he, he told me short. No, he called me this morning. Like, Yo, nigga, pull man. up on me. So I didn't have time. But no excuse. No, this is. I just gave this is this is the kitchen toast coaster. Everybody can. Oh, use we it. all gonna share one. I, gave it, I gave it to Joyce so she can regulate it. You know she, she likes gonna, to control it. I know, the but she. All right. So she gonna take it home though. No, she not. It's gonna stay right there. Damn, she it's always stay stealing right stuff. I'm a stealer now. Nah, now I'm she always stealing. taking stuff. Right so what's, your, what's, what's next? What's your goals? What's, what's the oh, goal? no, no, you act like, no, nigga. Oh, my bad. You act like no, I ain't I'm come nigga. up. No, no I'm not you. I am, I'm that nigga. No, I'm talking to this guy. Oh. You act like I ain't come I up to Harlem. I want to before it actually ran out. <laughs> with, with your shirt off? With my <laughs> shirt open. Like, like I had a cake. Out? He came did a video and, for me. And stayed yeah. in Harlem all day. I said, I love it up here. Yeah. And what I do, I stayed up there, me and a couple of Brooklyn niggas. And he took me out and we went to eat and I stayed up there and all you know, day you know to the nighttime. You know and I that, hung out. That, that talk you did on the steps. So went viral, nigga. That's, that's, that's your most viral. That's your most viral, viral nigga. Yeah. That Fire talk room, on the nigga. steps, you, you do that everywhere. Go back to it. Yeah, nigga, we nah, talked. Nah, 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 that was the one. I was you thinking, you went somewhere like, spectacular. You went to Harlem and took your shirt off. Nah, nah. You know, he, you know how you do his talk and shit. My Listen, titties was out. I, I snuck in. I snuck in. I'm just mad because he didn't. He ain't pull yeah, out of the bag. Out. He ain't know it was coming, so he yeah, I appreciate that though, man. You showed me extra love. I appreciate it. I was on your bumper, but you, you come on, man. I'm telling you what I say. And I'm a, got me some tiger gum. You got me yeah. drunk early, so oh I could. Oh my god, that's you know, bad good. Man. I don't want to leave. Nothing. And I, I stayed in Harlem. I stayed in Harlem, and people saw me, and I hung out, and I was out there all day for a whole day, wow. all night. I appreciate that. Come on, man. Me too. Outside. I appreciate that. Thanks. See, you're nice Five sometimes. Am I nice sometimes? I'm nice all the time. I'm a good guy. Appreciate that. I let this nigga climb my fence, to come in my house, <laughs> yeah, the unexpected. Old, the old man know what it is. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it because you're not the old person. Yeah, I'm different. Yeah. I changed. I'm almost like Pastor Mace. I saw that. No, you're not. I'm similar. That. You're not going to do that. I'm That's something not, like no, that. No, you're nothing like that. Yo, I'm not that go. good. What you got coming up, man? What you, huh? got, what you got coming up? I'm actually writing my own script right now, man. I yeah. can't I can't really get much detail because it's in the works and it's about to start shooting. It's, I it's got a, a I got an idea. I want to I want to I want to flush out my mind with Three you. Years ago. 3 years ago. I told you that. <laughs> 3 years ago, man. We, Sometimes it takes met, that long. When we met, we had our own ideas. We were supposed to do a lot of I shit. I know, come on. That's why I'm stuck in, right in your fucking kitchen today. I know, I'm tired bro. of people telling me they they want to do shit and don't do shit. And I, I just come to niggas houses now. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's how you get shit done. That's how you get shit done. Yo, we gonna, we gonna do this, we gonna do that. that. Nah, so we did skits. I was yeah. in videos. Now I'm here. That fuck boy. Talk. Like, that fuck up? boys video yeah. is crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, no, that's, that's no. Dope. We gon' we gon' figure some things out, man. He need to be in that. And what's his name? I don't know. What? What, what you showed us earlier? Uh, oh, I, I, could, I could write a couple. I got a couple scenes too. for you. No, definitely, you. definitely. So that's know. so. What I want to do with yeah. that is I want to you know I want to like have some of my industry friends do like cameos, but you playing yourself. I actually have a girl that that actually I know. I can't say her name right now because. She really wanted me to hook you up, and I was like, I can't do that. She want to hook up? What kind of hook up? It will work on the show. See? We talking too much. That's right? uh, oh, it, it will work, it will work oh. on the show. Oh. Oh. I'm trying to go into detail. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what's going okay. on. Okay. She want to hook up. What, what? She want a shot at the title. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. You don't you know, show me. Get get right she back. want a shot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, old Ray Gibson. Yeah. You know? Why you guys to say nasty shit, right? Because I'm a nasty motherfucker. I'm a nasty shit right there. Straight up. With, uh, what's these niggas? Uh, what, uh, Mr. Marcus and them. We, we need uh, <laughs> Mr. Marcus. I'm not Give with that. Set. West Coast this Productions. West Coast Productions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
yo, get out of the fuck off the show. This is a, no. She addicted to porn. You addicted to porn. You addicted to porn. How the fuck you know that nigga's name? She knows. She went crazy. What? Yo. Get get off the fucking show. How you start smacking my back when I start to see? Yo. She went crazy. She like, yo. Wesley, yeah, I wasn't yeah, like that yeah, shit. Yeah, Which yeah, had me yeah, crying because yeah, he really yeah. liked that. Like yeah, he really nigga, be talking hey, mad. Yeah, he be talking crazy. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. 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 That's none of his business. Now we know. Georgie's not the Georgie that we thought she was. <laughs> Cats out the bag. Cats out the bag. Learn something new every episode. You do. Oh, man. <laughs> well, how we looking? <laughs> it is what it is. We literally got like zero Go ahead, minutes. do this. Yo, I appreciate you for having me. I want to get that on, on film. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you, too, Georgie. Thank you, baby girl. Um, it means a lot. It means a lot to me, man. Nah, I'm, nah, my brother. You, 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 my friend. Thank you. You're my friend. Thank you, we appreciate and it's, you being here. Yeah. Definitely, and, and and I appreciate you telling your stories. But let's keep going. Let's keep working. Yeah. Let's keep doing more. Keep right. inspiring. Keep motivating. And you let me EP your your new situation. <laughs> It's, it's gonna be fire. He laughing like it ain't gonna be fire. It's like, gonna be like, fire. Why are you? Why are you <laughs> I feel like you waited right I'm here exalted. to get me on camera I'm to put exalted. me on spot. I'm to put me on the spot. No, you're not. Yo, get yourself a Grammy. Yo, you put, exactly. I'm gonna give me a fucking Grammy. Tell but can we? Can, can we? Can we? Can we do uh, another <laughs> thing over? Can we do? Uh, Underlay, underlay, mommy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to do that. Oh, you gotta nail the Listen, underlay. I can though. get no. I can that. do it. I, I don't got. I don't got. I, I, I can get you one. But I want to take that yes, though. Yes, you you got gotta, it. But you gotta yes. nail it. I gotta nail you it. You gotta nail it. I gotta nail it. Go back to your roots. Uh, yeah, uh, my we'll roots. Work on it. Africa. Guys. Lafayette. No strength. No strength. All over the window. All over the window. But thank you so much. Nah, we appreciate uh, you. Man. Thank you, thank you. Commodore. Yes. I'm Commodore. even going to say thank you because you, 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 you let me. You're a Y'all having me in. This nigga's a host. Not this nigga's a host. The hands of God on me. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to come do it. I'm, I'm good. I'm safe. I got to sit on the couch. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, this, this guy's the fucking again. host. Again. Really. Okay. At your favorite time, boy. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> at Holla Rock, <laughs> at Kitchen Talk, the podcast, at Mayno Hustle Hard. Definitely. At Cardi Land, everything. At who is Avon Carter. That's that's my other handle, wasn't you? Yes, so what's up with those two names, though? If y'all want, want that music, music. Go ahead. Go ahead, baby girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> At, com at Mr. Commodore. Yeah, Mr. Commodore, everything. Porn hug, all that. Porn hug. <laughs> you done came on my dick and ain't told me. 